Thanks. And those outage numbers from CMP really tell a chilling story. A lot of Mainers are in the cold and the dark tonight. Fox 23 Zanna Kuhn continues our team coverage in Weather Authority 1. She's been talking to folks in Kennebec County about how they're holding up without power. Yeah, what are they saying, Anna, and how are the roads where you are? Well, Marissa, Greg, the good news is that roads are clearing up quite a bit out here. You can see plows have really been doing their job, but the snow is still coming down. And most people that I talk to say they're just doing what they can to get through the rest of this storm. And for a lot of people, that means turning on the generator to keep warm. Yeah, we actually filled up yesterday. And my dad just bought a brand new generator yesterday. So we uh, went up the road to Fuller's, filled it up, and that was it. A generator is a blessing when the power goes out, but firefighters have a warning if you are running one. Yeah, we recommend that you keep your generators away from the home, away from any doors, windows, uh, away from any flammables and so forth. West Gardner's fire chief says he believes a generator running in the garage caused this house fire on High Street. The flames did serious damage to the home, but luckily for the people inside, they have a volunteer firefighter as a neighbor. It was incredible how fast he responded. He just took off down the road. Karen Ribka says after her husband saw the flames, he ran inside the house where an older couple was on the second floor and struggling to get to safety. My husband just, he picked her up and lugged her right down out the front door. So I'm so glad that he was there. I'm so proud of him. But for those who don't live so close to first responders, they say a fire like this is a good reminder to be extra careful before powering up. No, I think that's a huge thing that people need to be aware, well aware of is carbon monoxide for sure. I mean, I see it all the time. People get their doors open, they're cropped right on top, and it's like, that ain't, that's a disaster. The fire chief did want to share some extra safety tips about generator use, like make sure you're turning off the generator before you leave the house and power the generator down. Give it a few minutes to cool off before refueling and make sure when the generator is running, it's far away from any flammables like your extra gas cans. Live in Gardner, Anna Kuhn, Fox 23 News at 10. Yeah, important advice, Anna. Thanks.